This is the notification section of Bego. And if you have live notifications unchecked, which you do by default, then, uh, then there's nothing. But then if you check it, you'll notice all these names that as you scroll down, it'll have to load them. So depending on how many people you're following, this could take a while. I've already loaded it. And so I scroll all the way down. And what I did is I scrolled all the way to the bottom. Eventually it got there. Like I'm going very quickly because of uh, already loading it. And so then I checked the people that I want to follow. So I have you checked um, and, and other people that I actually want to see. Um, so we'll scroll all the way back up. Um, and so what you would do is as you're scrolling, just like be clicking on names, checking or unchecking, depending on what you want. And you don't have to click precisely on here because that takes a while, that takes longer. Um, so just click on, you can just click anywhere on them. Um, and so this, let's go back up. This is found under the main one and then settings and then notifications. And there's one other area that you need to know about because even if you have this checked, it still won't get through. So this is the notification area of Android for Bego. So there are two areas for notifications. There's here and then there is um, on the other, on that other uh, page that I just showed you. And if you have live unchecked, then you won't get the going broadcasting notifications. If you have it checked, then you will, but you'll only get the ones that you've signed up for. Um, and, um, and so then I don't remember what event is, but I have it unchecked because apparently that annoyed me, but then messages, I want to know when I get messages, but yeah, that's about the long and the short of it.